doing so good, isn't he, Mom? Oh, he's fabulous. Oh, you're just fabulous. Oh. Hi, it's day one. I haven't done much. Got my nails done. Much needed. Very happy. Your rose gold glitter. Rose gold metallic or glitter has been my vibe for like a couple months now. So, sticking with it. I keep getting my voice back and then losing it again. Hashtag burnout. Like my like adrenals or something. <laughs> Shocked. I slept like I was drugged, okay? Like I slept like I took NyQuil or something. Lucky you. I was so excited. I couldn't settle down. Oh my god. I was like freaking crashed. I could have slept all day, but alas, I could not. Um, poor Elton John woke me up at 4 a.m. to go to the bathroom because, of course, for him, that's 7, which is usually when he gets up. So I think we'll have a few days of that, but just as I suspected, the dog is settling in like nobody's business. I had therapy this afternoon virtually, also much needed because, I don't know, I'm still uh, processing. I, on, I told her today, like, I genuinely think I'm actually still in shock. Like, I've moved on from denial, I've moved on from numbness. I've worked through a lot of the anger and that kind of stuff, but I'm still in shock. And she was like, that makes sense. Like, this was the next step of it becoming real, is coming home. And I said, like, I feel like I should have been here, but I don't. I still feel like, like Elton's a bit of a stranger. And I, I think he's wonderful, but I do think that our bond is just gonna take a little bit longer. And I think that's okay. I can't like rush it. Um, it's like falling in love. Everybody falls in love at a different pace and every relationship that you get into is different. You can't compare how quickly you fell in love with your last partner with the new one. It just is what it is and circumstances change. And as she said, like oftentimes people have months or even years of anticipation and waiting and building up the excitement to meet their new dog and that wasn't my journey. And so it is gonna be a bit different, but um, we still have nothing in the LA apartment. Like we have just as much nothing it's as- a little bit of salad. <laughs> but we have like still mattresses on the floor. I swear to God, Elton's like, ooh, God love they're him. struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor things, they don't even have a couch. I asked for a bit of salad. And we have like no <laughs> bowls. We just have those like four plastic bowls that I showed in, in this haul video and um, they're all dirty. So giant bowl of salad it is. I'm gonna dig in. Ah, uh, Elton and I are enjoying ourselves by the pool. We found a nice shady spot. We've been just sitting here. I've been listening to podcasts, scrolling on TikTok, drinking a nice green cold pressed juice. And uh, we've had a, a wonderful day. He continues to struggle with the time change and not understanding. So I did get awoken at 3 a.m. with a very excited puppy telling me it's 6 a.m. And I was like, no, no, buddy, we're on Pacific time now. <laughs> Pacific time. So hopefully we'll get him there soon. Other than that, we've just been doing exactly what we're supposed to and relaxing. Um, I've been letting him guide me just around the like campus that I live on. <laughs> what do you call it? This uh, compound. Compound. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's compound, but... He's doing so good, isn't he, Mom? Oh, he's fabulous. Oh, you're just fabulous. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> he didn't take Poor to baby. the hug very well. But we also brought, like, a bowl of water for him. And today I'm going to go on Amazon and order you a bunch of goodies, right? We're going to order you some boots for the hot pavement. I'm going to order him some silicone bowls for traveling for when they like, come to the pool and stuff. Um, a flexi leash. Oh, a Nyla bone. Just a couple of things. It's right. You're a happy dog. <laughs> he's even saying. <laughs> he's so funny. He pants and he snorts a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. And sneezes. He snorts like a little pig pig. A little piggly wiggly. And he, poor guy, he sat in a puddle of water and now his whole bum is soaking. He says, it's okay. It's been keeping me cool. But he stood up and then my mom and I both got sprayed with water and I was like, where the hell did that come from? And my mom said, Elton John's tail. <laughs> he says, whoopsie, I did not mean it. Oh, I did not mean it. Oh, I did not mean it. Those paws. Oh my god. He has big hoops. The biggest dog feet I've had. Um, also today we started doing... Um, Mira gives us like a medication to give them for the first three days that they get home that we mix into wet food. So we gave them that this morning. And you enjoyed it, didn't you? Aww. So sweet. Love you. It's um to make sure that like they don't have any like uh Dardia and stuff, parasites from just living with all the other dogs. They test them all before they leave, but it's just like an extra precaution. 
favorite scenes and footage of Elton John lay peacefully next to Molly at an outdoor restaurant while she eats what looks like some crispy rice with spicy tuna on top. Day three, being home with Sir Elton John. Things are going great. Everyone who sees him does in fact think he's a newfie, which is exactly what the trainers and my mom told me was going to happen. It's so funny. If I don't want to have a conversation, I'm just like, yeah. And then if I'm like down to talk, I'm feeling social. I'm like, actually, so that's how it's going. Um, he's doing fantastic. He's so sweet. He's very cute. He's very funny. He's very playful. You can tell he's still a young pop. He was the youngest of the three dogs that graduated. He's like just over two years old. So he's still a baby. Basically the exact, he's a little bit younger than Gallup when I got Gallup. Cause Gallup was born May 2nd and I got him in August. And Elton was born May 17th and I got him in July. So he's like slightly younger than when I got Gallup. But he's doing great. He loves his toys. Um, but we need tough toys for him because he will chew through stuffed toys if the like outer fabric isn't really firm. So we, we're learning. We're learning. I ordered him a good old Nyla bone, um, which they recommended for him. I ordered him some paw protector for the paw pavement of LA. I've ordered him a flexi leash for some playtime stuff that we're going to be working on. You'll see in the future. Also, amazing news. I found out that on Thursday, Ben got picked up by his puppy raisers, his foster family, and that is who he will be living with. I could not be happier. They contacted me. They said I can get together with them and see Ben anytime I'm in Montreal. They will keep me up to date. I asked them if I could mail them a box of his favorite things, and they said absolutely. So this is the best case scenario I could have possibly dreamed of for him and honestly for me. Um, so I'm really happy and so like the dog brush that I'd ordered for him for LA and his squeaky Kong balls I'm gonna send to him from here and then when I'm in BC I'm gonna send his like raincoat, um, some of his um, porky, hedgehog, hedgehog toys from Purdy's that he loves so much and some of his other things so that is making my heart very happy. I'm currently organizing the mess that is my closet because after traveling and after the thread up order, I literally just shoved it all in the closet to the point where I couldn't open the door. So I'm dealing with that now and also sorting out, I have two giveaways happening right now. Um, for me, for you, they're probably both done, but for me, I ha still have them going on. So I'm sorting out those and um, yeah, we went out for lunch and did a little bit of shopping. I bought a piece of furniture. The first piece of furniture I bought and it's uh, one of those like outdoor swing chairs. I'll show you tomorrow when it comes in. That's the update on how day three with Elton John being home is going. Okay, it's day four. The only people who have met my new dog are like my mom, people at training, and then like random strangers. No friends, but Mo has come here today to help me with this really fun project. And I haven't told her anything. I just said, by the way, I have a new dog. I can't wait. I know nothing. Okay, so it is the same breed as Gypsy, Gallop, and Ben. Bernie's Mountain Dog Lab Cross, but looks nothing like any of them. Um, 80 pounds, male. Are you ready? Yes, I can't wait. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Elton John. Oh my, Elton John! <laughs> I love it! You're not a tiny dancer, that's for sure. No, <laughs> he's a rocket man. <laughs> Oh, you are too much. Isn't he funny? Oh, I just love him. He's like a real life teddy bear. Oh my god. Are you a real life teddy bear? What a sweet yeah. boy. And no, you take care of our Molly. So he's my real life teddy bear. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Mo is like family. So you're going to get to go to our house no, sometime. Yes. You like swimming pools? <laughs> he says no, no. I'm not swimming pools. We're just going. He said, I got too much hair for that. No, no. <laughs> I, oh, oh, he is a yeah, his tail going. Oh, he, he's still not as big as Gallop, though. No, no, he's not as big no, as Gallop. No, nobody is as big as Gallop. He's, he's, uh, he's the same size as Ben, actually. So do you call him Elton John or Elton? Elton John. John. Elton John. But, like, if I'm being quick, I'll say Elton. Hello, Elton John. Hello. Isn't he cute? Oh, adorable. God. Isn't he like a new feet? What a personality. People think he's a new feet. <laughs> Go for it because you can.
<laughs> okay, it is a day five of having Elton home. Can they see it? Yeah, it's, so, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna stand up, stand up with me. Sure. Okay. So I got this from Revolve. I'll have a link below if you're interested. I won't lie. It's pricey, like everything on Revolve, but it was the nicest Elton John t-shirt I could find. And it's like a recreation of his tour shirt from 1992. Aww. So on the back, it has like all the tour dates. And obviously I had to get an Elton John t-shirt. Also, I have like a code fake name that I give Elton when I'm out. This is something Mira suggested. I've never done it before, but I'm really happy that, that I'm doing it now. Um, so I was, testing it out the first day. Um, and this is basically where when random people in public ask the dog's name, you give a fake name. And that's because instantly people will tend to say the name to the dog. And if it's the real name, the dog will get distracted. But if you give a fake name, the dog doesn't even flinch. And so they say like, totally cool to let your friends, family, and bees know. But just random people who you're never gonna see again, just use a fake name. And so I started doing it and I gave his fake name Nirvana. Because Nirvana means like happy, right? Yes, and I believe so. Well, yeah, a, a blissful place. Yeah, and like I believe Elton's nickname was Happy Dog, and it's a famous musician. Same theme, and I feel like he looks like he could be a Nirvana. Yes, black hairy crazy dog. Anyways, so um, he's like a rock star. So Nirvana is his fake name. So I might have to get the Nirvana one too for funsies. But yes, got this in the mail yesterday. Um, Mo, I have an Elton hair in my mouth. Um, Mo is so sweet. Her and her husband take all my packages. We have a concierge at my building, but when I'm gonna be out of town for like a month or more, I get so many packages, I send them to Mo's because I don't want them to have to deal with so many of my packages just sitting there for me till I get home. So I wanna do another little package haul with you guys. Um, also this morning I filmed the this video announcing the end of Ben's career and whatnot. So I have been very emotional and um, I just need to be uplifted. So I got this chair from the World Market. I'm obsessed with swing chairs. For me being blind, um, sensory input, sensory stimulation that isn't visual really helps me also with my anxiety. And um, a lot of blind people, especially blind kids, like to rock. They'll physically rock their body. It's considered a blindism and it's to simply provide stimulation. So things like rocking chairs or swing chairs are really great alternative to help provide that rocking sensation without them physically having to rock. So if you have a blind child or you're a blind person who does enjoy that feeling, I would highly recommend. This is like originally something like $700 for all the parts, but we got it for 300 because we got the floor model and it was a bit damaged. So we got a discount, then we got a coupon. And it was on sale. It was on sale already. So. I could I was like I'll take the damage chair thank you I will save the money so this is literally the first piece of furniture I bought for the place and also our nearly naturals plants came in so this is like a little oasis now which girl I need it um speaking of sensory stimulation mrs. bench on tiktok sent me a bunch of fidget toys I love fidget toys and stuffed animals. These are things that some people would deem childish. I don't care. They help me with my disability. They give me stimulation that I cannot get visually and it makes my brain happy. Do what makes you feel good. Growing up, my occupational therapist had me play with fidget toys in class. And as I grew up, I stopped doing it and I don't know why. The past few months, I have been right back into it. And so she sent me a bunch of them, but I'm gonna show you my two absolute favorites. I'll also have some of my favorite fidget toys I got on Amazon linked below as well as these ones. This is my absolute favorite. Oh, it makes like a great sound, which I'm obsessed with. And I, what I love doing, it's like this spiky silicone ball. What's, with, what's the name of that? You know, the sound when they make the sound, AMS, ASMR. ASMR. So it just like, I like the feeling of letting them kind of like sink through my <clears> fingers. <throat> oh, this one's my absolute favorite followed by this one, which almost feels like there's slime inside a silicone ball. These are, these have been my two go-tos since I got the package yesterday. So thank you to Mrs. Bench. I also got in, oh, I'll show you my stuffed animals. Since we're speaking of stuffed animals, I originally got these for here, but because I ended up getting the 
Squishmallows at VidCon. I think I'm gonna bring these to my BC place. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's the first time I've seen it. It's so beautiful. And you know what? Um, Pete Gustin, the blind surfer, he's like a middle-aged blind man and he loves stuffed animals. And when he shared that, that validated me. I was like, I don't know if I'm trying to heal trauma in my sleep or what, but I can't sleep without stuffies and I never will and that's okay. My favorite quote when I was growing up was, when I grow up, I wanna be a kid. And I think I've achieved that sentiment. Um, but again, it's like a sensory stimulation thing for me, I think. I just find it very comforting. And again, when you're disabled, life is hard enough. You don't need to make your own life harder than society already makes it. If something like fidget toys or swing chairs or stuffed animals help ease your disability, symptoms of your disability, then do it. And That's this is cool, the other, just... just like an utter classic. Aww. An utter, oh man, oh my God, I'm in bliss. Swinging my swing chair, oh, if I put a spin drift in my, <laughs> in my side here, oh. Fidget toy in hand, bliss, bliss. So I think these will come back to BC for my new apartment there. And um, soothing music would be nice too. Oh my gosh, yeah, a little right? music player. Yeah. With some birds chirping. Yeah. Delightful. So I got that in the mail. And then I got my bed spread. I had my throw pillows. The, or the and it's way nicer than that on the inside, by the way. That's lovely, but you only see the stripes. Ah, it's, we're gonna put it on the bed tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that we got that. We already had the shams, but that was back ordered, so that came in. And then of course, the sun. Ignore it. I got a bunch of stuff on Amazon for, I almost said Ben Ben, Elton John. Um, this is a leash that we're gonna use for um, playtime. This is something that Mira has us do if you have no safe space for the dogs to run um, because they can't go to dog parks um, or it's like highly discouraged. What they have you do is get a very long flex leash and then go to like an open park or something and allow them to run. So I picked up this one. I like it because it's very neon, so it should be really easy for people to see the leash, even if it's kind of getting dark out. And this is 26 feet, so very long. Um, I picked up some Nyla Bones. This is the one I got, it was a two pack. There was this one and like a rough textured one that he has inside right now. Um, it's chicken flavored. Let me know if you have any suggestions for Bones. He's a chewer, he likes to chew things. I've never had a chewer before, so this is my first time providing toys for a chewy dog. Let me know if you have suggestions. I will have all of this, these things linked in my Amazon storefront. I have a few more things coming in for him, but I got this, is that the right way? Yeah. Uh, yes, there's a sticker on it. Maybe turn it over. Oh, there it is, that's better. Mushers, mushers? It is like um, a, a wax for paw pads. So it is to help protect against hot pavement, sand, salt, um, and any other irritants. And it's totally fine if they lick it and stuff. And um, I just thought this could be a good alternative to boots in the hot LA pavement um, and sand. So I'm gonna try it out this week, see how that works. And if not, I'll get him some boots. And then I got some silicone collapsible bowls to take with me on our days out. So those are some of the goodies. Oh, and I got some makeup, didn't I? Is it there? Yeah. So kindly got sent some makeup from this company I honestly haven't heard of before, but it's vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, all the, all the frees. And the packaging is stunning. Like, isn't that beautiful? Mom? Beautiful. It's this Very like, original. It feels quality. It's what, gold and black? Yes. And it's textured, it's a matte glass bottle, like pump top, it has all the things. And then they sent me some eyeshadows as well, the cream shadows. And again, packaging, it's like so beautiful. And it like pops up, how does it have? I know it's, there we go pops up like that like it's just so nice so really excited to try that out and that is everything I got here are the other nearly natural plants that we got we got an olive tree 
there's olives on it. Um, I love that we got our faux plants and our patio furniture before we got any other furniture. <laughs> Though Elton's been loving the no furniture vibe because yeah. he's like, I get to run around with my ball. Um, he loves his ball. Is he over here? He's right in the ground, right there. Over here? Yep. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, you always want the Betty rubs. You always want the Betty rubs. He's getting better about sleeping in later. He's adjusting to the time zone. Yeah. And we give him a brushing every single day. And I told him if, if we brush him a little bit every day, he'll never get a painful mat. Isn't that right? That's right. So anyways, um, that was our first five days home. I think it went really well. I'm like really pleased with everything. Tomorrow, my trainer from Mira comes out and we will do our home training. Um, so I will just end this video here and let the next part of the journey begin. Thank you guys for coming along with me. Click over here to see this video or over here to see this one. Till next time, have a great day.